No, could I have a cup of tea, please, Brooke? My milk was off and <laughs> it's been a long morning. Yeah, cool. So be right back. What's this one about then? To be honest, I haven't actually read it yet. <laughs> How's this one coming along? Oh. Yeah, um, this isn't... This isn't actually for a blurb. Oh, yeah? I'm trying to... I'm trying to write a sort of bucket list. No way, that's cool. <laughs> Are you going to do it? I mean, yeah, yeah, that's the idea. But I don't really know where to start. Hey, how about when my shift finishes, I'll come meet you and I'll help you write it. I mean, really? Yeah, of course. I'd love to write a bucket list. Oh. Never thought to do one before. I'd better do some actual work now. <laughs> OK. Hey, a fantastic way to start any adventure. You and I are going to eat this entire cake. <laughs> Why? Why on earth would we want to do that? Just to prove that we can. Go on, take the challenge. <laughs> Do you live near here? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a bit chilly to eat this entire cake out here. Might look a bit weird too. Mm. Come on then. We'll pick up some milk on the way, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so five things, yeah? Mm -hmm. Five momentous occasions. Number one, something deliciously selfish. Eat an entire cake. Yeah. Almost complete. <laughs> Number two, spend an inordinate amount of money on something useless and or shiny. You could do that tomorrow if you'd like. Go into the town to the jewellery shop. Yeah, oh, yeah, OK. Um, number three, waste an entire day. And you want to go to the beach? Mm. OK, nice. Not sure when. No, it is a bit cold, isn't it? Beaches are great on cold days. Have you really mm. never been? Not for a long time. Not since I was a child, I suppose. OK. So number four, something dangerous. Fireworks. That was quick. <laughs> I've always wanted to set one off. Seems a bit strange to do it by yourself, though. Don't want you looking like a nutter. Lucky for us, November 5th is coming up. We could hold a little party. Uh, don't you have a, a plans already? A family or, or friends? Well, it's never really been a thing in my family, bonfire night. And we are friends. I've known you for almost a year and you're the only person who talks to me properly in the cafe. So why wouldn't I think of you as a friend? Oh. So, fireworks. Fantastic. I love fireworks. Number five? Yeah, um, actually I... I have an idea for this one. It's... It's something I want to do for myself. I... Thank you for, for all your help, but... I want to finish the list with... Something... Something big? Yeah. OK. Well, if you know what it is already, mm. then I'll leave it with you. I'll see you tomorrow for shopping. Meet me outside the cafe at, say, 11? Yeah, OK. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
so ugly. I know, I love it. <laughs> so then Amy said to Sam that if he didn't leave, she was going to burn his eyebrows off with a sparkler. And did she? Nah, mum came in and confiscated the sparklers and grounded them both. Abby, um, are you still there? Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. You, you haven't told me much about your family before. Mm, yeah, I suppose I haven't. I'd say there isn't much to tell, but we're all a bit bonkers, actually. How so? Well, there's four of us kids, all adopted. Mum doesn't believe in bringing kids into the world when there are already kids that aren't wanted. Dad's a bit kooky. He's a psychology professor, so you can imagine the arguments, sorry, debates over dinner. Mum's a primary school teacher. She simultaneously loves and hates kids. It's pretty funny. Um, what, uh, what about you? What do you want to do? Ugh, the age-old question. No idea, really. I don't even know what I like. But I've got a few years to figure it out. I'm lucky I have a great support system, you know? I can take my time, live at home if I need to, even if my parents drive me nuts. Are you okay? Sorry, yeah, I'm fine. Got sidetracked. I'm going blind. Sorry, what? It's why I'm doing the list. I'm going blind and I wanted to, to do something to make up for the time I've wasted. I'm coming over. Oh, no, no, Brooke, it's, it's too late. I'm coming over. I'll see you in ten. It's called macular degeneration. Sounds fancy. I know. Lucky me, eh? It's been ages since I've had a day like this. I definitely prefer being a kid to adulthood. <laughs> Did you do this a lot with your family, days like this? As much as a big, messy family like mine could manage, I guess, yeah. <laughs> well, there are four of us kids, all adopted. Mm -hmm. I was a baby, but my siblings were all a bit older, so it actually affected them, if you know what I mean. You don't think it affected you? Well, I never knew any different. I went straight into a loving family. <laughs> I have no memories from before it. I was so young. and. I was told I was adopted when I was very young, so it was never really an issue. I'm pretty well adjusted, all things considered. <laughs> I'm glad. I... <laughs> you? I knew your parents. What? <laughs> How? I grew up here too. Oh, everyone knew your parents. They were very progressive in the community. We all knew about their foster kids. I met them a few times at um, events and things. That's, that's kind of sick, really. Weird to think about. When we first met, you said you just moved here. 
I had. I moved away as soon as I could. I didn't, me and my mum, we didn't really get on very well. She wanted lots of things for me that I couldn't really imagine for myself. Like what? My career, if I should get married, have kids, quite a lot really. We didn't really talk for, for a few years. I think we both regretted it though. She left me her house. I could never afford it on my salary. I'm only a marketing assistant writing blurbs. I don't get paid by the word. I just, I just wonder if things would have been different, you know, if I'd kept... Um, kept what? You know my list. Number five? I have to... Um, and tell me if there's something wrong. Your number five. I just needed to... I didn't know how to tell you. I was terrified of how you'd react. I thought I owed it to both of us. I gave you up because I was young and scared and I wanted you to have a good life. You were so small and I didn't know what to do. Your parents, they helped me. They took you in and they said if I wanted to, I could come and see you. But... You didn't want to? I wanted to every day. I didn't know how. I knew you were okay. But it had to be enough. Did you regret it? No. <laughs> you... I could never have given you the life you deserved. I struggled for years. You'd have hated me. I don't think I could ever hate you. I've been emailing my birth mum. We've been talking for months. Yeah. I didn't know how to tell you. I'm sorry. I don't think there's anything you need to apologise for. You did what was best for me. How could I hate you for that? Thanks. But why now? I wanted to see you when you knew who I was. I needed that for myself. Thank mm -hmm. you.